Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is sponsored by Clinket Street Hair and all of the information regarding the hair will be listed down in the description box below. So if you would like to see how I style my hair, stay tuned. For this style, I did go ahead and put my hair in two strand twists so that it can match the texture of the clip-ins. And as you can see, I did leave out one section of my hair. It's like a rectangular shape. Um, I, I split the section in two, and then I split the one section into two sections again. So in total, I will have four different sections in my hair. Or should I just say four ponytails? Because I'm going to put a rubber band around each section. I do use edge control to give it a nice sleek finish so that it can look good, you know, and lay those edges down. <laughs> but as you can see, I, I'm going right now, I'm just doing um, four individual ponytails and then I will show you guys how I connect them. Okay, now that all of our sections are connected, you will have two pieces of hair that is still left out. So I decided to do a two strand twist and then bantu knot it. I chose to do a bantu knot because my hair is short and I didn't want it to be too noticeable. But it's totally up to you whether you want to do a bantu knot or leave your hair out. So now I just will begin to unravel my twist. And y'all, when I say my shrink is just so real, it is so real. So I did have to fluff my hair out to give it a little bit of length and now I'm just going to part my hair to do a little bit of leave out so that you don't see the wefts in my hair once I place the clip-ins in my hair. Now it's time to part my hair so that I can begin to put the clip-ins in my hair. Okay, I'm going to part my hair in like a half circle. I'm going to start in the back and work my way to the front. Um, I do want a bang, so the, the clip-ins in the front are going to face forward. They're going to come forward, okay? So when... Placing your clip-ins, just be mindful that you don't have to put them in too tight because you don't want to cause any tension or breakage on your hair. That is important. But to place the clip-ins, I simply part my hair, place a clip-in, part my hair again, and I place another clip-in, and I do these steps until my hair is completely full.
Okay, y'all, this is the final look of my hair. And when I say I am feeling myself, like, I am feeling myself. Like, my hair grew overnight. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me I don't look good. You can't tell me my hair don't look bomb. Like, come on now. Like, look how well the clip-ins blended in with my natural hair. Um, let me go ahead and turn around so y'all can see the back. Like, girl, come on now. Like, y'all know when I be feeling myself, I, come, I need to get my nails freshly done because I want to, like, this looks good. Yes, I highly recommend getting these clip-ins. Like, these are bomb. And I can't wait to do other styles and wait for more videos because I'm going to upload them. <laughs> but yes, y'all, I'm feeling myself. Don't pay me no mind. Okay, back to the video. When you see when I first put the clip-ins in, it wasn't, like, this big. I just took the old school rat tail comb. I grabbed the top of the weft and I would just rake it. And it just gets bigger and bigger. And that's how I got it to look this full. I recommend doing this before putting your clip-ins in because I had to take mine out and refluff it because I didn't like the size of my hair. So because when I first pulled them out the pack I was like mm, I do not like these curls but after you fluff it out and you work with it like look at the magic you can create I really love this look I love the hair all the information to kinky tree will be listed down in the description box I'll leave the link to their website if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or any questions about this hairstyle the hair um, just drop a comment down below and you know I will talk back to you if you haven't already. Like, come on now, y'all know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button down below. And if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for supporting me. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.